Hello and welcome to Paper Mache Patch. Today I'm going to show you how to make the starfish using delight clay. We're going to begin by placing our template in a sleeve or under a piece of plastic so we can work directly on it. Open your paper clay. Well, today we're using delight clay. It's also um, made by the same company as paper clay. It's a lot lighter, almost like a marshmallow. It's very easy to sculpt. It's actually really great for kids. So what we're gonna do, get out that clay. Make sure you put up the rest of the clay that you're not using. as it's air dry and it will dry out quite quickly so once you put your template under some kind of plastic sleeve or glass whichever you have um, we're gonna start just forming the clay into the shape of the starfish Go as big as you want, as small as you want. You don't have to use my template. You can draw your own or a great source for um, templates for stuff like this is those free coloring pages you can get online. You aid print for like your kids to color. Let's just get the basic shape down first. And then we can add any areas that you find need just a little bit more. If an area gets too bulky, you can also easily take it off. The great thing about working on uh, the template with a, in a sleeve also is that when you're ready for it to dry, you can just lift it up and move it. I usually put mine in front of a fan because I live in Jamaica and it's very humid here in our tropical climate. So we're just going to continue smoothing. You can use tools if you have them. You can use your finger. You can use the back of a spoon. See how easily the delight clay smooths? Very nice to work with. Like I said, it's great for kids or if you have like arthritic hands. This one is a bit high, so I'm just going to take some off. So just, you know, curve them a bit if you like. I'm going to add a little bit more right here, make this little part a little thicker. So basically you just keep um, smoothing and adding, subtracting until you're happy with the starfish shape. I'm just going to put up this excess so it doesn't dry out. And then I'm just going to continue with the smoothing. 
notice I'm keeping the ends a little lower. Bringing it up into the middle, it's a little higher. Make the shape of a starfish. You can use, look at reference photos as well. Books, online, wherever you have them. This one is a bit long. I'm just going to pinch a bit. Get that off and fix that end. I'm going to add it right here actually. Get that part a bit bigger. So he's looking quite cute. You can also just dip your finger in water. Helps with the smoothing. You don't want to add too much water though. Your clay can get a bit mushy. Remember it is an air dry clay and um, also you don't um, want cracks. We can fix cracks quite easily and sometimes they do happen, especially if it drives too, dries too fast. But uh, one of the reasons you get cracks in air dry clays is when you add too much water. So we're just gonna keep smoothing until we are happy with this. This is looking good. It's looking really cute. I like it. You can turn it around if you need to. Fix those spots. Remember, a starfish isn't perfectly um, smooth, so we're actually going to add back texture. So don't worry if it's not, you know, perfect. There we go. I think we're good. I kind of like how he's looking with his arms slightly curved and, you know, it looks cute. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add texture. You can use a toothbrush if you like. I like to use this wire brush I have. I think it's something that you use for cleaning metal parts. So, simply pounce. Just keep dabbing it until you have enough texture. This is one of my favorite tools that I use for texture and sculpting. Zoom in so you can see it, the texture. Okay. It's amazing. So now you're just going to set this aside to dry and then when we come back we're going to paint it. Before we paint the starfish you just have to clean up the edges. Use a bit of sandpaper or a nail file, buffing block, whatever you have on hand. Just make sure it's not too harsh because the delight clay tends to be very very soft even when it's dry. 
Once you have finished sanding the edges, then we're going to apply a coat of gesso. I'm using a clear gesso. It's what I have on hand. You can use whatever you choose. The gesso basically prevents the paint from being absorbed by the clay. That way you don't have to do as many layers of paint and um, it saves your paint. Once you have finished applying the gesso, allow your sculpture to thoroughly dry. Now it's time to paint. I'm using yellow oxide paint by Golden. I find that Golden Fluid Acrylics are very highly pigmented and I only need one coat. So I prefer to use them, but um, you use whatever you like. I use played craft paints, I use PBO craft paints, I use Americana. They're all great on clay. So basically just give the starfish a coat of paint and leave it to dry. Now your starfish is dry, we're going to use some walnut ink to bring out that texture. Place your starfish on a piece of paper towel to protect the area that you're working on or a cloth or an old box. And carefully spray with the walnut ink. The ink will go down into the little crevices and then you can use a paper towel or soft cloth to gently dab the top of the starfish, removing any excess ink. If you like, you can also use a shimmer spray if you have one to add a sparkle to the starfish. Once you have finished spraying your starfish, set it aside to dry thoroughly. The best way to seal your starfish is by using a spray varnish. I say spray and not a brush one because the inks will probably come off when you use a paintbrush to brush on the inks. A lot of them are not um, waterproof. And that's it. Your starfish is now complete. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Thank you for watching.